Junkyard Life heads to the woods for the 1965 Volkswagen bus rescue. This bus wasn't even 10 years old when it was parked in the woods. That was 1974, the same year the Brady Bunch signed off after their final season. Well, Greg and Marsha are a lot older now, and so is this bus. Whoa, it. The split window bus in the Alabama woods. <laughs> yeah, it can be fixed. Some duct tape and some WD-40, we're good. Floor? We have no pool problems here. No floor problems? Yeah. No frame problems? Well, if you don't have a floor, you don't have problems. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Rewire it and we're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> they call it a combi. Am I saying that right? I thought it was German for combination, but I'm wrong. Lesson number one. Don't take German lesson from a guy from Alabama. This was summer in the deep south. It was hot. Nestled between two hills and close to a stream that met at the bus every time it rained. And it rains a lot in this part of Alabama. You can see the floors are gone. What was left of the headliner was hanging down to what was left of the frame. It was a storage shed for lawnmower parts, empty aluminum cans. Before that, it was a little girl's playhouse. Before that, an ex-brother-in-law drug it out here after he pulled the engine out of it. He needed the engine for his Baja project. These VW buses had a little bit more powerful engine than a regular VW bug. They had a little more weight to carry. This one even had a letter on the door. It looked like somebody used it for a business at one time. Did you have a guest, Daddy? Uh, no, my guest was wide ranging. <laughs> was it? 1950 to 1967. That's my... <laughs> that dove blue paint was probably something to see when it was out here at first. The decades of rain and the moisture coming up from the ground from that stream, they didn't help it out a bit. It makes a pretty good greenhouse with the plant life growing inside and outside. Tag says 1974, Alabama plate. Engine used to be right there. Transact was all that's left. Giving it a go with the chain, gently at first. Didn't want to rip it in half. That was after I dug out the wheels and tires a little bit. It wasn't enough. Spent some hours out there digging and cutting over a few days. We should have brought more shovels and much more folks, but we didn't. Then we came after it with a uh, tractor, old Ford tractor, and gave it a pull. The old thing just about shook apart. I had some help. Kevin Thomas, my son Joe, Ron Kidd showed up. This is some laughing too. I often wonder why we were even doing this thing. Here's a tractor, pulling, yanking, dragging. Didn't budge a bit. Gently pulled. He's almost broke free. The rear end, it moved back about eight inches. Too much punishment to bear for this thing. I hated to see it get hurt. Well, let's dig some more. Got the jack out. Got it up off the ground a little bit higher. Did some more digging. They decided to chain up the center post under the dash and the transaction. I hooked it together with the come along. Had us some boards to put underneath the tires. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh, Little sled action. Oh, oh, oh. 
and then gently ease it out. Just like we planned. Was it moving fast? Backing up? Was I going too fast? We're going like 10 miles an hour. <laughs> well, the wind has stayed in it, so. It's a wind. This thing has all the glass intact. Even though those window channels are rotted slap out. There's almost as much algae and, and moss growing on this thing as there is sheet metal left on the roof. Front bumper looks good. Not a whole lot else does. We just had a place to put it. We'll think of something. A little bit further, maybe we'll get it get it out of the woods. Rear bumpers about eat up with rust, about half of it's just gone. Here in the shot. Don't blame on him for that. <laughs> My son Joe. That's a 2004 Silverado 2500 it's four wheel drive. A little bit muddy down there. But... That back tire is digging in. Should we lift up the back? I don't know. The nose, like it wanted to peel apart from the, from the roof. Somehow it held together. Yep, she got some torque in her now. Yep. <laughs> Ron Kidd at the Tell wheel. Start He's gonna pull her on out. Stomach was turning, I was creaming a little bit. I hated to see that thing get ruined. Hang on just a sec. It's like the front yeah, I popped. Think, I think it came loose though. Right? Yeah, let's see if it'll go a little more. Well, we were this far in, we had to get it out of the woods. Going along here, the little center post broke. And the roof's about the only thing holding it together. I paid just a little bit of money for the thing. I don't know if I feel guilty. I want my money back at this point. <laughs> Yep, that's good, man. That is good. I hope I don't get fat. <laughs> Time to get her home. Let's load her up on a flat bed. Surely this will be the best way to get it home without shaking it to pieces. Call the record service. They sent a guy out pretty quick. You got this strap. The sun's going to tire down. It won't flop around too much on another road. That's a lot of years of dirt and grime on that thing. Yeah. Hadn't had a bath in decades. Look underneath. Ooh, yeah. Everybody's going to be excited to see this. Bounce around. There's no suspension under there. Record driver's gonna pull out of here pretty quick. Little does he know, a big truck loaded up with scrap metals barreling down the road. It takes a turn a little too wide. Scrap truck locks her up, watch the smoke. How about there? We followed her on home about 10 miles away. Looked like she slid off to the side to the right. Had my fingers crossed she didn't slip on off in the ditch. That would have been hard to explain. All right, home sweet home, suburbia. That's just what suburbia needs. 
1965 Volkswagen bus. There's more junk in the driveway, don't worry. 73 Grand Am. 78 Firebird that wrecked. CJ7 up in the back. All right. Somewhere I got a footer. I'm sure the neighbors are looking out the window. Thinking, oh no, what is he doing now? That's the record driver to take her down nice and easy. Maybe we'll chain her up to the Jeep and just slide her out. I don't know. No. Shake, rattle, and roll. That was his method. So much for my advice. I didn't want her getting hurt. Looks like she's about to tip over. We'll be an ugly end to this little adventure. I just wanted her off safe and sound. I didn't want to do more damage than the woods had already done to her. I got a bright idea. I'm gonna hold her. Idiot. <laughs> At least I tried. All right. The combi has come home. Two wheels down, two to go. Just don't buckle in half. The giant surfboard of a roof is almost rusted through at the edges. There's hardly anything holding the hinges on the door. Front door, that is. Side doors are clamshelling together. Now it's buckling the other way. Record driver doing the best he can. This is the nightmare. But we're almost there. They made this uh, first generation of the bus, 1950-1967. Then Pond drew it out. He was an importer of Volkswagens to the U.S. He based it off the Beetle chassis. He just thought, hey, we'll slap a box on top of that. They modified it a bit. Made some changes over the years. But it's an icon. People all over the world recognize this thing. Even if she ain't the prettiest thing, she's mine. One of the windows almost fell out, so I, I pulled her loose. You see that's, that's no longer there, the driver's side. These windows popped out, they're safari glass. They tilted. See some seats in there. And that partition separates the front area from the rear passenger slash cargo area, the combi. There's your plate with all your data, what's going on there, options. Another look around. All she needs is headlights and a lot of love and a lot of money. I think a good bath might make the neighbors appreciate me a little bit more. I think the rust looks plainer. We got shinier rust, that is. There's the door with the letter in it. Still couldn't make out what it said. Well, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Free junkyard fun. We don't know where the bus is going. It's in the yard. It's out of the woods. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us again. Junkyard life. Story beneath the rust. Dig it.